So in this video, we're going to talk about your um, page cover image. So that's the image that sits at the top of the page. Um, as you can see here, we're on the Advisor Marketing Club Facebook page that if you don't already like the page, well, I'd love you to go over there and, of course, like it. Um, but there's two elements there. I mean, the sort of the header area on the left-hand side, there is the Advisor Marketing Club um, logo, which is the profile image. And behind that, and the, the, the bigger part of the header image is just the um, page or cover image, as they call it. Now, the logo part of it, so the square image, um, this is what I post as. So you can see here some posts that I've done, and you'll see that's what comes up. So um, we, um, yeah, well, you'll see that happen. It's like your personal page image and so on. But behind it is the cover image, and you can do some interesting things with the cover images. Now, I used to be the sort of person that would just put an image up and kind of forget about it and not change it. But recently, I've been looking at um, ways to use the cover image more effectively to generate leads. And you can do this in your financial planning business. Now, one reason why you would update it is that followers see it. They uh, will see that in their news, but it's like putting a new post up or a new photo up. Um, it'll appear in their, in their page feed and it will say, my case advisor marketing club has updated their cover photo. And you can see here, um, here's an update. And this is what you would see in your feed. Now, I don't know whether updating your cover photo gets you any preference in terms of the page rank that we've talked about, or edge rank. Um, so does that mean that it's more likely to show up in the news feed versus something else you'd post? Look, I, I don't know. But nonetheless, it's a really good way to keep your page fresh and interesting. And there's also the perception of your page being current and up to date. I've seen people do this for topical ideas. And um, we will talk a little bit in future... Um, lectures about some different ways that you can use this in terms of competitions. What I've done is just recently updated mine to change it um, to highlight my what I call my lead magnet. So when you go to the Advisor Marketing Club, sorry, to the Quantum Media website, you will get invited to subscribe to my newsletter list. And in exchange, you get your copy of the little black book of online marketing resources. Now, I may change that giveaway in the future, but for now, that, that's what it is. And so what I've done in my cover image is I changed it today and I did this thing. I did this on Photoshop. I'll explain um, that in a moment. And I've basically got a call to action. So subscribe to get your free marketing book today. Click here. So I'm using it for a promotional purpose. And what I've done, if you then click on the image, is it goes to, you know, when you click on a photo in Facebook, it goes to like this photo page. Here on the right hand side, you can add text. And so what I've done here is put subscribe here and I've put a um, hyperlink in there. Now clicking that hyperlink takes me to the contarmedia.com subscribe page where you're then invited to submit your name and email address and then you subscribe to my newsletter list. Let's just go back and we'll exit out of that. Now it's pretty straightforward to do and let me just show you how I did it because I'm actually not entirely happy with the way the image has turned out here. Now when I look at it, the click here is partially obscured by the Advisor Marketing Club text. So just, I just wanted to change that and, and fix that up. So first of all, you need to create um, your header image. Now I use Photoshop for mine because I have Photoshop and can use it. Two really good alternatives, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com is one that I've already talked about. And there's another one called pickmonkey.com. Both these services have free options and they'll have some templates in place that make it easy for you to create your own image. If you're using one of those or you're using Photoshop or another graphics program, the current dimensions for these Facebook um, cover photos is 851 pixels by 315 pixels. So just make sure it's that size and they'll fit appropriately. If it's too big or too small, it'll get scaled and probably look a bit, a bit weird. So I use Photoshop for mine. And what I will do now to show you how to do this, so up the top here is you can see the camera icon. And if I hover over that, you get the option there to change cover. So we click on that. And then I've got choose from photos, upload photos, reposition or remove. So I'll go upload photo. And I have a couple of options, but this is the one that I fixed up. So I just hit open. And I've got this drag to reposition cover. So if I wanted to, uh, reposition it. I could, so if it didn't quite scale properly, it's fine. Now it's a little bit hard to see here because you don't have 
the buttons and the text down here that would normally be here. So when I first did it, I looked at it and thought, geez, a lot of space down the bottom looks a bit weird. But once I saw it in the context of the page, look, it looked fine. So if I click Save Changes here, it'll refresh the page and then it shows you how it fits. So that click here now is um, slightly higher from where it used to be before. Now for the next part of it, I'm just going to show you how to link it. So all I've done now is put an image up. But if you click here, it doesn't actually do too much other than go to that page that I showed you before. Here it is. See on the right hand side, this is where we have to add a um, description. So if I put on that, add a description, and I'll type in subscribe here, and paste that hyperlink in, and I hit done editing. So it's really important to note here that if you don't do the second step, all that's gonna happen is you'll put a call to action on the cover image, and they'll open it up, but they won't have anywhere to click. They'll just come to this page. So I'll hit done editing, and we're done, and we'll close that down. And now it'll work properly. So if I go here, so here's three dots, click on those and do view as page visitor so this is what my page looks like to a visitor coming to my page they're seeing this subscribe to get your free marketing book today click here so the clicking here now the reality is i could actually click anywhere on this cover photo doesn't really matter but none that's i'll put a very distinct call to action on it to open this up subscribe to get this and over here they can see the link they can click on that link and then they would go to that subscribe page on my website so they can be very, very effective. Um, unfortunately, there are two clicks to get to where you want them to go. It used to be that you could update this image and above it would actually appear a live URL that they could click on and go directly to your subscribe page. Uh, unfortunately, that's no longer there. Now, this is probably likely to change at some point in the future as well. Um, but for now, it's kind of this, this two-click process where you click once on the image and then once over here um, to do it. And remember, it's not enough to just upload an image. You've also got to hit it on the, on the side as well. And you can see here, this is what will come up in someone's feed. Advisor Marketing Club updated their cover photo and subscribe here with that, that text and here it is there. Now, this is the one that I did earlier today. Um, I probably don't want that coming through. So I'll just do here and I've got two options, edit post. Uh, which means I can change date and do a few of those different things, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to click here, hide from timeline. So are you sure you want to hide this post in timeline? Yes. Sometimes you'll put posts up that may be, say, for instance, time sensitive. So it might be for an, for, um, an event or something that's happening that uh, once the event's happened, you might want to take it away. Um, alternatively, something like this, just when you're updating an image or something, you may not want it to show. So that that's the one I've hidden was one from earlier today. The one I will keep live is the one that I've just put up. Apologies if you follow my page and you're seeing a few of these things come from your timeline. Now you know why I was doing a video for it. So that can be a really effective thing. Now when someone comes to the Advisor Marketing Club page, um, they're seeing this subscribe option. Just wanted to show you another couple of examples of how other people are doing it. So here's the Facebook page for Social Media Examiner. And over here, you've got this um, Enroll Now Sales Ends Friday. So if I click on that, familiar page again and here it is over here with a link so they've got a, a, a probably a subtle call to action i'm not sure how different this uh cover page is to the normal one but certainly it um you know tells you to go and do something and there's that call to action on there and of course being the crazy guitar player that i am it wouldn't uh be a video without mentioning guitar at least once in it so here is what vintage guitar magazine are doing uh, Vintage Guitar is marking its 30th anniversary by sharing the free online browser edition download on the App Store. So they've changed this specifically. Look at all that um, that comes up. This is the summary of what I'm going to see in a moment over here. Um, now, interestingly enough, um, let me have a look here, see more. They've got a massive big description down here. And then here is the link that I'm assuming will take me to the App Store. So here we are um, in the a browser edition of Vintage Guitar Magazine. So this is their latest edition, as you saw, and they're making it free to everybody. So um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So we'll go back to their Facebook page. There you have a few different ideas of how you can use your cover image to get more interaction 
with your uh, page followers and also putting call to actions in there. You can get people to subscribe to your newsletter list, uh, come to an event, enter a competition and so on. So some really good opportunities there. Leave a comment um, after this lecture if you've got any questions about it. Alternatively, if you actually have used this or will use this, let me know how you go. I'd love to get some feedback and see what interesting ideas people come up with on how to do this with their cover image.